In the mountains of Guerrero State lies the impoverished town of Chichihualco, famous for its contributions to a national pastime. The town's local industry produces hand-stitched colorful footballs. It is a tradition that is passed down the generations. Martin Vioso learned how to stitch footballs from his parents when he was a little boy. But the work is barely enough to survive. He only makes 50 cents per ball. And on average, produces just five of them a day. Still, he has no choice. It's among the very few legal professions available for townspeople caught in an area controlled by the drug cartels. Here, there are only seasonal jobs, like now, when the corn harvest comes. And when that's over, the only job is to make footballs. In the 1960s, the town was the top maker of soccer balls in the country. During its production peak, there were more than 70 workshops that produced tens of thousands of balls a month. Some of the biggest buyers included professional Mexican soccer clubs. But Chichihualco's hometown industry is in trouble. Since the implementation of the North American Free Trade Agreement in the mid-1990s, most Mexican clubs stopped purchasing soccer balls from producers in this town. Instead, the teams are buying them abroad, where they can get them for a much cheaper price. Most of the balls come from China, which has taken control of the market. Balls from Chichihualco can cost up to two times more than the ones from China. Now, after several decades, there are only 15 workshops left. Humberto Alcaron once had a thriving business that supplied balls for the Colibríes de Morelos football team. Now, his business focuses mainly on recreation, if anything at all. The business is getting worse. We have been waiting for three months and there has been no clients interested. Clients who want 20,000 balls go elsewhere. Alcaron believes unionizing the producers in this town would give them more clout and perhaps spur politicians in Mexico to help protect their industry from foreign competitors. Without intervention, it seems Chichihualco is destined to leave its football-making past behind. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Chichihualco, Mexico.